How's it going YouTube? Darth Matthew here, back with another video. This time we've got some Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. They've finally released the first part of the Collection 2 of the DLC packs they're releasing. The first two we've got are Summer Vacation and Clone Wars. I'm going to do a little ranking on each pack from worst to best for each character in the pack. There's a total of five characters in each pack. In this video I'm going to be doing the Clone Wars one, so let's get right into it. Right, so kicking off the list with number 5 we got Gar Saxon. Now Gar Saxon is actually from the last season of the Clone Wars. He was part of Maul's Shadow Collective if I remember right. Um, I don't want to get into much spoilers with regards to that but essentially in the last season he's kind of evil in a sense but I think of him as like an evil Mandalorian really. So he is from Mandalore obviously. Um, in the game though he's got his jetpack which I think is pretty cool. Always nice to see a character with a jetpack. Um, he's got his blaster, as you can see. Pretty, pretty basic on the that sort of foundation level, but I, th I like his sort of look. You know, as as I said, he's like a dark sort of Mandalorian, so it's cool to have him in the game. But I've ranked him at number five. And at number four, we've got Darth Maul from the Clone Wars. Now Maul, we've already got him in the game from Episode Two. Adam here is part of the Clone Wars pack. He's now got his metal le legs from the Clone Wars. Um, obviously after episode 2 it's, you know, the old chop chop -a So, that's just him with his metal legs. It's a cool little addition to the, the game having him as a Clone Wars sort of look. Um, obviously he comes with his fancy jump that you gotta love. He's a madman. And then obviously he's got his, uh, Joe saber. Which is pretty nice, obviously. A lightsaber is always nice. And then he's got his force ability as usual. But yeah. I put him in at number four. And at number three, we've got Savage Opress, Maul's brother. Now, I really like this addition to the game. Having Maul's brother as well as Maul in the game is really cool. Um, he's kind of more of like a, a juggernaut version of Maul. Obviously, with the shoulder pads, you see, a bit more of a tank. He's kind of, he's he's bigger in general, really, isn't he? from the the show. But um, he's got Maul's jump. This is the same race as Maul, which is obviously the yellow sort of paint on his face and hands. Um, and he's got Maul's sort of saber as well, which he used in the Clone Wars. So not too different from Maul, just the, the different sort of look to his armour and obviously the colour of his paint. But yeah, there we have it. Savage Press from the Clone Wars at number three. And at number two, we got Ventress from the Clone Wars. Now, I put Ventress at number two because, I mean, look at those sabers. Look at them. They've got, like, the little detail of, like, the, the curve on, like, the handle or the hilt of the, the lightsaber, which I think just adds that level of authenticity to, to the way they looked in the Clone Wars, like, uh, TV show. So I think that's a nice little addition. Um, I think she does look a little bit weird in the face just because, obviously, she's bald in the Clone Wars. So it's kind of hard to, like, mimic that with Lego. She kind of looks like Palpatine without the the hood. But yeah, I think she's a really cool addition to the game with the dual wield lightsabers. She's got like a normal jump as well, but obviously her force abilities as well, which is always nice. But yeah, at number two we got Ventress. And finishing the list off with number one, we got your boy Captain Rex. I'm so happy this guy got added to the game, everyone loves Captain Rex, but nice to see maybe some more of the clones added to the game. Um, but it's nice to see Captain Rex in. I'd definitely put him in the I mean you have to, it's Captain Rex. Um, maybe an alternate form where he has the final season sort of colour on his mask, I think he has like the, the orange mask that he gets. That'd be cool to see that maybe in game eventually, but I really like the addition of him to the game. So I've got him at number one because I mean you have to, as I said it's... Captain Rex, like you have to, you know what I mean? But he's got his dual wield, which is nice to see. And it, it, he's just kind of like, he's a really basic character in that regard, but like, come on, it's Captain Rex, you, you can't go wrong. So yeah, number one, Captain Rex. And that'll end this ranking for the Clone Wars DLC pack. I hope you enjoyed this ranking. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.